huge fan of behavioral economics, um, and, and the idea of nudging, I think, is a really, really important one. Um, we work with organizations sort of to look at a full, and we um, follow an IDO, change management um, uh, application, but a big part of that is what happens after you've set a strategy, after you've designed all the infrastructure, designed the process, provided support and training. I think that's where the, what you what you mentioned, the, the nudging and sort of the, some of the systems and incentives come in place. I think they're really, really important. Um, actually, Transport for New South Wales has an incredible case study, if anyone's interested, about how they've used behavioral insights and nudging um, with the, the behavioral insights team and has some really good results. So it was about looking at defaults in your calendar, for example, because one of the biases is about defaults. So how do you change the defaults in your calendar rather than just opening nine to five? to more than four hours, I think it was 10 to 3, so please correct me if I'm wrong, anyone from Transport for New South Wales, uh, creating uh, competitions. So they did, there's an HBR article written about this, and I can share that as well, but um, they look at competitions, so each team would have competitions and did they work more flexibly or not, um, and then they created points and they had awards, um, so absolutely a really big part of it. We just sit down with our clients, and we now have a couple of partners who are behavioral scientists, um, um, who come in with us and, and look at, okay, how does your organization really work and where can we maybe tweak a little bit, but absolutely big problem.